The verses that I quoted at the end, just to get an understanding of how shaitan works. And this is inshallah, hopefully insightful, so that we can be careful. I'll give you an example. There's a girl, right? She's 11, 12 years old. She's been to a Muslim school, right? She's not interacted with boys outside of her family. It's from a very chaste, very religious, very productive home. You know, very religious home. Now, they can't find a secondary school that's not mixed. So she goes to a mixed secondary school, high school, academy. And there's a guy there, and he says, Oh, you look really nice. You know, you're really beautiful. You're going to have a lot of people saying that. Right? And you get a lot of guys saying these things, unfortunately. It's haram, obviously. Now, what do you think her reaction is going to be? It's like, Tawbah, astaghfirullah, a bit of embarrassment. Right? A bit of embarrassment. She's never dealt with this kind of stuff. Do you expect this woman this girl rather, to go all the way and commit haram on that first day, that she has been praised, you know, every few days is somebody saying, hey, you know, your bag is really nice and your clothes are very nice, you got a really nice smile, right, and saying other weird things, this is flirting, right? You think she's ever going to commit haram like straight away? No, it's a big taboo, you can't do that, generally doesn't happen. Children don't end up in gangs the next day. Right? There's always a trajectory. There's always steps. And this is what Allah says number of places in the Quran. Do not follow the steps of the shaitan. Several places in the Quran Allah repeats that same thing. Don't follow the steps of shaitan. Because then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An Nur, verse 21, He adds something. He says, And the one who does follow the steps of the shaitan. Shaitan only commands people with unchaste things, immoral things, and wrongs. Shaitan doesn't command for anything right. It's always step by step. The process is always step by step. So for example, let's give you an example. This girl, what's going to happen then is that the onslaught is going to be on her. She's, there's going to be constantly guys on her back because everybody else is doing it. So she's going to have to be very protected. Slowly, slowly, one day she's going to give a smile back. She's going to give a smile back. That's it. The connection is made. Until now she kept turning away. She was embarrassed. She didn't say anything. She rejected the advances. One day she's going to give a smile back. That's that weak spot. She's going to give that smile back. The shaitan's there playing. You know, shaitan's there working hard. He likes you. You should be interested. He gives a smile back, that's it, the connection is made. And then after that, then after that numbers are exchanged, and, and then La Hawla Allah Ta'ala protects. Step by step, that's what it was. It's step by step. You'd never expect somebody to do that on the first day. 